Hello dear friends and viewers. Today's discussion is quantum field theory, internal symmetries. Okay. So an internal symmetry is one that only involves a transformation of the fields and acts the same at every point in space time. The simplest example occurs for a complex scalar field psi x equals to phi 1 x plus i phi 2 x divided by root over 2. We can build a real Lagrangian by L is equal to del mu psi star del mu psi minus v mod of psi whole square. Where the potential is in a general polynomial in mod of psi square is equal to psi star into psi. To find the equation of motion, we could explain psi in terms of phi 1 and phi 2 in terms of phi 1 and phi 2 and work as before. However, it is easier to treat psi and psi star as independent variable and vary the action with respect to both of them. For example, varying with respect to psi star leads to the equation of the motion del, del subscript mu del superscript mu psi plus del v psi star psi divided by del psi star is equal to 0 because v star this is this equation Lagrangian equation. Okay. The Lagrangian has continuous symmetry which rotates phi 1 and phi 2 or equivalently rotates the phase of psi and psi tends to e to the power i alpha psi and del psi is equal to i alpha psi. Where the latter, latter equation hold with, with alpha infinitesimal, the Lagrangian remains invariant under the this change del l equals to 0 and this the associated concept current is j superscript mu equals to i del superscript mu psi star psi i psi star del superscript mu psi. We will later ok the charge the conserved charge arising from the current of this type have the interpretation of electric charge or particle number non-abelian internal symmetries. Consider a theory involving a capital N scalar field phi A all with the same mass and the Lagrangian L equals to half into N equals to capital N del, del mu phi A del super subscript phi mu phi subscript a and del superscript mu phi subscript a minus half into n equals to 1 to n summation capital n summation m square into phi square subscript a and minus g into summation a equals to 1 phi square subscript a in this case in this case lagrangian is invariant under the non abelian symmetry group capital G equals to S O N O N actually O in this case and one can construct theories from complex fields in a similar manner that are invariant under and S U N symmetry group non abelian symmetries of this type are often referred to as global symmetries to distinguish them from the local gauge symmetries symmetries okay isospin is an example of such a symmetry albeit realized only approximately in nature okay local gauge symmetries you will meet later okay because i will publish a video where I also made, I also also explain what is local gauge. Okay, so local gauge is very very important. So quick trick 
that there is a method to determine the conserved current associated to an internal symmetry del phi is equal to alpha phi for which the Lagrangian is invariant. Here alpha is a constant real number. We may generalize the discussions easily to non-abelian internal symmetry for which alpha becomes a matrix. Now consider performing the transformation but where alpha depends on space time alpha is equal to alpha x. The action is no longer invariant however the change must be of the form del a is equal to del, del subscript alpha and h superscript phi. Since we know that del a equals to 0 when alpha is constant. The change in the because you know least square square action in my classical mechanics video same I, I, I apply in here. The change in the action is therefore del, 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 del s del capital S equals to d to the power 4x del L capital L equals to minus d to the power 4x alpha x del mu h superscript mu this equation you can get okay and now which means the when the equation of motion are satisfied del s equals to 0 so including we have del mu del sub, sub, subscript mu h superscript mu equals to 0 we see that we can identify the function function h mu equals to h superscript mu equal to j superscript mu as the conserved current. This way of viewing things emphasize that it is de derivative terms not to the not the potential terms in the action that contribute to the current. The Hamiltonian formalism A equals to okay the the link between the, between the Lagrangian formalism and the quantum theory goes via the path integral. In this course, we will not discuss path integral methods and focus instead on canonical quantizations. For this, we need to need the Hamiltonian formalism of field theory. We start by defining the momentum pi superscript a x conjugate to phi subscript a x. So pi superscript a pi super, superscript a x is equal to del l divided by del phi dot subscript a. The conjugate momentum pi superscript a x is function of x just like a field phi subscript a x itself it is not to be confused with the total momentum p superscript i defined okay defined you can get this 1.3 means 1.43 means you get the this equation i will tell what is the equation okay equation is the energy momentum tensor tensor 1.43 is the p P superscript i is equal to integral d cube x t0 i where t is the tensor. Okay, this equation you can get to PP superscript i is equal to total momentum. Okay, so 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 this equation which is a single number characterizing the whole field configuration the hamiltonian density is given by a is equal to pi superscript a x phi subscript x minus l x where yes, as in classical mechanics we eliminate phi subscript a x in in favor of pi superscript a x everywhere in h the hamiltonian is then simply h is equal to integration d cube x h okay so example a real scalar field 
एल इज इक्वल टू हाफ फाइव डॉट होल स्क्वायर माइनस हाफ टेल फाइव स्क्वायर माइनस भी फाइव एंड द मोमेंटम इज गिवेन बाय पाई इज इक्वल टू फाइव डॉट व्हिच गिव्स द हैमिल्टोनियन एच इज इक्वल टू डी क्यूब एक्स दिस इक्वेशन एंड नोटिस दैट द हैमिल्टोनियन एग्रीज विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ टोटल एनर्जी 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 इन द लैग्रेंजियन फॉर्मलिजम्स लॉरेंज invariance variance is clear for all to see since the action is invariant under lorentz transformation transformation in contrast the hamiltonian formalism is not manif manifestly lorentz invariant we have picked a preferred time for example the exa equation phi x is equal to phi x bar x bar t arises the hamiltonian tons equation This is equation we can get. Now, unlike the Euler-Lagrange's Lagrange's equation, do not look Lorentz invariant, and nevertheless, even though Hamiltonian framework does not look Lorentz invariant, the physics must remains unchanged. If we start from a relativistic theory, all final answers must be Lorentz invariant, even if it is not. manifest at intermediate steps we will pause or at several points along the quantum route to check that this is indeed the case now we discuss quant canonical quantizations in quantum mechanics canonical quantization is a recipe is a recipe that takes us from the hamiltonian formalisms Hamiltonian formalism of classical dynamics to the quantum theory the recipe tells us take the generalization coordinate qa and their conjugate momenta p superscript a promote them to operators the poisson bracket structures of class me classical mechanics morphs into structure to commute or commu commutation relation between operators so that in its h bar is equal to 1 so this is the equation of the poisson equation in field theory we do the same now for the field phi subscript a x and its momentum conjugate pi superscript a b x thus a quantum field field is an operator valued function of space obeying obeying in the commutations relation this is the commutations relations and note that we we'll, we have lost all track of lorentz invariance since we have separated space x bar and time t we are working so danger pictures and at the operators at the operators operators phi subscript a x and pi superscript a x do not depend on time at all only on space all time dependent sites in the in the states kit shy this is the shy which evolve the the usual schrodinger equation so this is the i into d psi dt is equal to h k psi okay we are doing anything different from usual usual quantum mechanics we merely apply in in an old formalisms in field fields but want war want however that the notation k k psi is the state is de deductively simple if you were to write the wave function in quantum field theory it would be a functional the, that a, that is a function of every possible possible configuration of the field theory it would be functional that is function of every possible configurations of the field phi the typical informations we want to know about the quantum theory is the spectrum of the hamiltonian age in quantum field theories this is 
usually very hard one reason of for this so friends we know that the, the typical information we want to know about a quantum theory spectrum of the Hamiltonian H, capital H in quantum field theories. This is usually very hard. One reason for this is that we have an infinite number of degrees of freedom. At least one for every point x in space. However, for certain theories known as the free theories, we can find a way to write the dynamics such that each degree of freedom evolves independently. From all the others, free field theories typical, typically have Lagrangians which are quadratic in the field so that the equation of motion are linear. For example, the simplest relativistic free theory is the classical Klein-Gordon equation, KG equation for real scalar field phi x comma t x, x bar t equal to del mu del phi del, 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 del subscript mu and del superscript mu phi plus m square phi equal to 0 to exhibit the coordinate in which the degrees of freedom decouple couple from each other we need only take the fourier transform phi x comma comma t dq p divided 2 pi pi cube e to the power i p x phi p comma t and then phi comma p t satisfies this equation equation thus for each value value p and phi p phi p comma t T solves the equation of a harmonic oscillation vibrating at, at frequency W P P bar vector equals to P bar vector plus M square. We learned that the most general solution of the KG equation is a linear superposition of simple harmonic oscillations. Each vibrating at a different frequency with a different uh, amplitude to quantize phi x comma t we must simply sim, sim, simply quantize the infinite number of harmonic oscillations so friends uh, thanks for watching watching this is the equation w p p vectors and thank you for watching i hope i can give some some uh, I, I explain explain canonical quantizations and scalar field and i i can discuss internal symmetries and next video i shall i shall try to explain harmonic oscillations simple harmonic oscillations so please so i hope that you like and please watch and uh, watch my video and and keep following in my channel